everybody, it's Connie with SimplySimpleStamping.com. Thank you for joining me for another video in my popcorn box mini series. Guys, I'm having so much fun with this popcorn box because it does so much more than popcorn. Today I want to share with you how to create this sweet little basket. Now that looks nothing like a popcorn box now. This is going to make a great little shower gift or maybe for baby or wedding. It is so sweet, so easy to do. The fun thing about today, I'm going to be sharing with you how to create little bordered panels using that die and of course how to create the basket. So we've got a lot to do. Let's get going. <laughs> The first thing we're going to want to do is to create a template that we're going to be able to um, use to create those really great panels. What's great, this is a one-time thing. Once you have it, you can just find a nice little place to store it. I have got two pieces. This is actually some retired cardstock. They are four and a quarter by two and three quarters. If you follow the flashcards, you recognize those. So I'm going to bring in my magnetic platform and the popcorn box die. And to create the panels, I am simply going to lay, uh, this is the side that has the tab on it. We actually, that one I just think creases a little bit better. And so we're just going to line it up in here. This is the only section that we need. I'm not worried about anything else. I'm not worried about it being straight. We're going to run that through the big shot. You're going to repeat that with the other one. So when we have that cut out, it's going to look like this. Now I came in with a pen and I drew, there are some little, Oh, just some little indents that you're going to see in here. And I just took my ruler. I made them a little bit uh, easier for you to see. So now we're going to just simply cut this out. You can hand cut it or you can bring in your stamp and trimmer. And what I find works best with the stamp and trimmer is I'm going to start with this little line right here. And guys, all I'm going to do is just line it up in the um, this opening. Just center it up there in my stamp and trimmer so I got that one done now check this out I can put the tip of this line in the track I can put the tip of this line in the track and that way I'm going to make sure I get a perfect cut and again like I said you can cut it by hand but because this is a template I really wanted to go ahead and just take the time make sure it looked really good now you're going to have two of those and they are going to be identical but you do want to do one quick thing one of them will be a template where the um, pattern or the, the panel is going to go all the way up. But maybe you want a, a border all the way around. Let me show you what to do with that. We're going to take one of them and you are going to take it right to the edge of your stamp and trimmer. I believe it comes up to 3 eighths of an inch. But we are just, I, you can see, I'm just lining it up with that gray edge there. We're going to trim that off. I now have one that will, let me bring this in so you can see. So now I have one that will allow me to have a border all the way around. And this one here will allow that to come all the way to the top. So it's kind of nice to have two of them. And um, hey, we're working on a template, so we might as well make it. Now to create the panels, I have a piece of designer series paper that is three and a half by seven and a quarter inches. And I'm gonna be using the polka dot side. So I wanna flip this over and you can see I've already drawn my lines on here, but it was very simple. You're just going to um, line your template up on the um, designer series paper. You notice it's gonna fit perfectly in there. And you're going to trace the first one out. Then you're simply going to flip it over and you see those, those lines line up perfectly. We can just trace the one line, flip it over, line it up, trace one line, and of course repeat that one more time. Now we need four panels of course for our popcorn box. And to cut this, you're gonna do it just the same way I just did on the template. We're just going to bring it in to the Stampin' Trimmer, line up those points, and cut. What I love too about doing this on the back side is um, if any of this ink shows where I drew these lines, it's going to be on the back. No one's going to see them. So let's get all those cut. All right, my panels are all cut. I've adhered them onto my partially made popcorn box. You can see I found it easiest just to line it up here on the top. Um, again, remember, if I had used the other template, I would have had a border up here and you would have lined it up here at the bottom. But either way, it's gonna work great. Yeah. To create the handle for our popcorn box slash basket, I have a piece of uh, just some, I'm using mint macaron today, and that is cut one half inch 
by eight and a half inches. And then what I did is I adhered a piece of the matching designer series paper, and that is three eighths of an inch by eight and a half inches. So let's set that off to the side while we um, decorate the front of our box. I really like decorating this box in particular or basket while it's flat. I think it's just going to make it a little bit easier. So let me bring in a piece of Whisper White cardstock, and I have that cut. This is, I believe, one and a half inches by four inches. And we're going to be using the uh, matching stamp set, the Ready to Pop stamp set. I have a mint macaron ink pad. And we have this word enjoy, and we are simply going to stamp that right there. I'm thrilled because I know I have a framelit that's gonna cut that out perfectly. And then we have this really great little um, uh, leafy thingy. We're just gonna stamp that right next to it. I can come back in with the magnetic platform and I'm gonna put the little circle that comes in the matching framelits around my enjoy. And then I am simply going to take the banner piece and just kind of uh, put my little viney thing there in the middle. Let's go ahead and run that through the big shot. And there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this basket back in and I really wanted to use some of the silver metallic thread. Thought it would be so pretty on this project. And I've got a yard of it. Uh, that is not a rocket science measurement. It's just kind of whatever. I'm going to wrap it around my fingers. I'm going to kind of keep my fingers tight. I don't want this going every which way. But if you will kind of grab it like this, and I've got some wonderful little loops. I'm going to come in and bring a Stampin' Dimensional, two dimensionals actually, because I want to have some uh, space to work on this. And we're going to actually let these dimensionals do all the sticky work for us. So I've got those little loops and I am simply going to hold my tongue just right <laughs> and just press those down. What I like about using dimensionals is it does kind of give me the ability to move these around and whoops. And when it does that, it's as simple as just coming and giving it a little press. So now there's my enjoy with some wonderful little fringe coming off of it. Um, I love this metallic thread. All right, let me set that off to the side for just a second. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my banner. I am gonna keep it kind of low here to the bottom because we're actually going to be covering that up. Let me come in with my enjoy and I will, just adhere that, oh, about right there. Now, I wanted to top it off with a little something. I created just a simple bow with the white organza ribbon. So pretty. And you can adhere this. Actually, you can adhere it with the Stampin' Dimensional, but I'm going to go ahead and come in with a glue dot. Adhere it with a glue dot when I could find my glue dots. They ran away from me there. So let's just adhere our bow right there at the top. Isn't that sweet? Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and come in with the uh, Tombow multi-purpose glue. And you remember my trick, you just fold down the one panel, bring the other one over, works perfect every time. To do the handle, I'm just going to place uh, two mini glue dots. So one, I've got one at one end, one at the other. I wanna make sure that's good and strong. And let me put one here, or two of them here on the other end. We're just gonna adhere these to the inside. Very simple, just center it there. And center it there. Is that sweet or what? We can kinda of give our handle just a little bit of curl. Uh, we could put just about anything in there, but I have just some little flowers that I thought would just look so sweet. I could put a little gift card in there. I just think that would be gorgeous for a wedding or a baby shower, but I love the idea of turning that wonderful little popcorn box into a basket. That is just a sweet box. And I hope you like that idea um, of how to create that template so that you can create the nice little uh, panels on there. Can you see that? Oh my goodness, how many different designer series paper or embossed cardstock that you could do to really make this a wow project for sure. I love this one. Now, if you need to see any of the supplies that I use to create the uh, popcorn box basket, you can find that at simplysimplestamping.com. Look for the July 7th, 2016 blog post. I'm going to have pictures 
just everything that you need to see, measurements, all that great stuff, it's all gonna be there. So when you're ready to recreate this project, it's all gonna be right there at your fingertips. And if you'd like to order that uh, popcorn box die or the bundle, I mean, hey, who doesn't want our stamp set? It's that cute little stamp set. And you can find that at simplysimplestamping.com. You can just click one of the pictures to get over to my online store or you're gonna see an online button up there in the corner. Either way, We'd love to take care of you. So guys, thank you so much for being a part of the mini series for the popcorn box. Have a fabulous day and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.